Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining uh, tonight. This week, we'll have um, special classes around the Festival of Mabaratri. So it will be focused more on the uh, center heart and not only, but we'll take a journey to the chakras. And uh, tonight is special because we would uh, <clears throat> invite you to a certain experience. Um, we will uh, do the bandan together. Of course, some of you already know it by heart. Um, however, however, because we were contacted by those that uh, used to come to our classes, uh, cool kids classes for parents and children, actually grandparents and children as well. <laughs> uh, we will um, do the bandan the way we are teaching the children as well. So that would be one thing that we'll be doing tonight. And besides the meditation, we will um, see what do we feel. So that will be kind of a, a nice exercise for all of us. What do we feel when we listen to the recitation of the Devi Kavach, which means the protection of the goddess. It is a very, um, it is an ancient um, hymn and also, it's all about awakening different powers, um, let's say different deities, different divine principles, different energies that exist within our body. And um, in the ancient yoga system, there was special attention to every organ, every component of the body and maybe you some of you might know or some of you might not know however um, the yogis and i'm not talking about the modern yogis but some of us in sahaja yoga we have uh, tested that and it works <laughs> especially that we know how to give vibrations how to transmit energy where is needed so um what they were doing is if let's say if there was a problem in us with a certain let's say with the liver or throat or some part of the body if some part of the body was going through um, a certain challenge the yogi would um, even talk to that part of the body would give complete attention so it became thing consciously so it will not be just you know taking some remedies but absolutely will have the attention and will initiate a dialogue and in a way in Sahaja Yoga the way we meditate the way we initiate this dialogue with our energy Kundalini which is the the power that nourishes everything within our body uh, it's very similar with uh, that um, ancient way of uh, of managing one's being. So that's that's one thing. And another aspect would be to to see how words absolutely transmit energy. So that's why tonight, as I said, uh, we will give you more minutes because others will be joining. But tonight will be more about um, receiving and and listening and watching. We are sharing with you some of the images, fresh images from uh, uh, around Canada. <laughs> some of us have um, taken these photographs um, in Quebec, in Ontario, and we are sharing those with you. It's so much creativity that, as we know in nature, but some of them are absolutely like paintings. So they're just masterpieces, of course. So let's keep both hands open, relax in our lap, see what we feel. On my end, I already feel coolness, like a cool breeze flowing, which is very nice. I don't want to um, influence any of you, but just to give you courage to open up and also settle in meditation.
and um, <clears throat> we all can prepare now for doing the bandhan together. And as I mentioned at the very beginning, it will be a little bit in a different way uh, with a song. And this will remind us about the classes we used to do with uh, the cool kids classes. And feel free to join us in doing the bandan. Together. Before we start doing the bandan, let's take a deep breath in. Hold it, then slowly release the air out. We can all start by balancing the channels you see in this photograph of Srimantaji, the founder of Sahaja Yoga Meditation, both hands in Namaste. And as she was teaching us in Sahaja Yoga that this gesture, Namaste, is to salute our spirit as well. It is about balancing the lateral channels and placing our attention inside on the central path of evolution, Sushumna Nadi. So I'll be sharing this little video. We all will follow to do the bandhan and it will be a little bit more alert than the usual bandhan that we are doing. Kids love uh, a more dynamic way. So as you know, we'll invite Kundani to rise three times vertically and seven times we'll do the protective rainbow. So we'll invite Kundalini as a fountain through us. So let's listen. If you feel to sing along, <laughs> sing it, but please mute yourself. So let's... Um, invite Kundalini to, to rise three times following the girl that is doing her bandha. Like a fountain up, 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 up.
So we have raised Kundalini three times. Each time above the head, we, will, we have done um, a corresponding number of knots. So for the first one, one knot. For the second time, two knots. The third time, three knots. And then we've done the protective rainbow seven times, once for each of the energy centers. So that was the bandhan. As part of the Navaratri series, um, the focus would be on the center heart. And uh, during every class that you will listen either to music or to um, shantra, uh, shastras to different, um, I will not say incantations, but actually mantras and ancient hymns. And sometimes we'll listen to them in in Sanskrit or if there are bhajans, different devotional songs, there will be in the um, in the original language that can be Marathi or Hindi. And also we hope to have um, a little band made by family members that will play special songs dedicated the energy to the day to the goddess that provides protection in the central aspect of the heart chakra. And you can see here, Sri Durga. Being represented, you see with different, with several arms because she's fighting the negativity. So that's why everything is very symbolical. Every, in every hand, there is a, a weapon in the sense that there are different ways she has to be creative in the way she protects um, her devotees that are actually her children. So it's interesting. Let's place the the right hand, if we can reach with the fingers from the right hand, exactly in the middle of our chest on the, on the sternum bone, we might feel the bone right there. And this is a very simple way in Sahaja Yoga in which we restore self-confidence trust in ourselves, trust in others, trust in the future. We know that these days we are very challenged by what happens and the future is less certain maybe than ever before. So this is a very simple way to put ourselves in contact with this center that protects us from disease and is managing actually the immune system for us. Now it's important to start paying attention to what we feel in the pinky fingers. If we feel the same sensation in both of them, it can be coolness or tingling or any kind of sensation. If it's similar or the same, they will indicate together, they will indicate that the problem with the center aspect of the heart chakra. We know that we have a left heart chakra that is placed along the blue left energy channel. And you can see the flame of the spirit. That's the most important attribute that we need to remember from the aspect of the left heart chakra, the spirit the essence of our being, the highest, the subtle, the, the core of what we truly are is represented by the spirit. And it's placed in the left heart chakra. Then we have the center heart chakra, which is placed along the central channel. And on the right, side of our chest, we have the right heart chakra, which is placed along the right energy channel. And we had classes dedicated to Sri Rama and Sri Sita. 
the divine aspects that being awakened within us provide us with those qualities that we need. So let's take a deep breath in and then we slowly release the air out, push our chest a bit forward. Let's look at this image of Sri Durga. Let's realize how serene is the divine energy that fights the negativity within us. So that serenity is very helpful to be imbibed in our character, the serenity in front of adversity. And also let's remember the fearlessness that should nurture our character as well. So now if we place the right hand in front of our chest, in front of the middle of the chest, just in the air, let's see what we feel. You might feel already how the energy starts building up. Just by talking about this divine aspect, it starts manifesting within us. At the very beginning of this session, we're talking about feeling. So let's, um, we'll be listening to the recitation of uh, Devi Kavach by Sahaj Yogi, who is also an actor. Actually, actually he was, he's an awarded actor for um, recording, audio recording. So <laughs> we will benefit from his talent and uh, let's let's listen and let's see if we can feel if we can absorb energy. I will be watching some of some photographs, some images. Oh. Salutations to Sri Ganesh. Salutations to Sri Saraswati. Salutations to Sri Guru. Salutations to the deity worshipped in the family that is Sri Mataji Nirmala Devi. May there be no obstacles. Amen. Salutations to Sri Narayana. Amen. Salutations to Sri Vishnu. Amen. Salutations to Goddess Saraswati. Salutations to Sage Vyasa. Here begins the main part of the Devi Kavach. The presiding sage of Shichandi Kavach is Brahma. The Mita is Anushtup. The presiding deity is Chamunda. The main seed is Anganya Sokta Matar. The principal is Digbhanda Devata. It is recited as part of the Saptashati the 700 verses in praise of Sri Durga to please Sri Jagadamba. Amen. Abeyasans to Chandika. Thus spoke Markandeya. Amen. O Brahmadeva, please tell me that which is very secret and has not been told to anybody and which protects all beings in this world in every way. Brahmadeva said, O Brahmin, that which is most secret, auspicious and benevolent to all beings is the Kavach of the Devi. Please listen to that, O great sage. First, Shailaputri, the daughter of the mountain. Om Shri Shailaputri Namaha. Second, Brahmacharini, the one who observes the state of celibacy. Om Shri Brahmacharini Namaha. 
third Chandraganta, adorned with the moon as her bell. Om Shri Chandraganta Namaha. Fourth, Kushmanda, the one whose void contains the universe. Om Shri Kushmanda Namaha. Fifth, Skandamata, the mother of Kartikeya. Om Shri Skandamata Namaha. Sixth, Katyayani, the foster daughter of sage Katyayana. Om Shri Katyayani Namaha. Seventh, Kalaratri, the dark night of dissolution. Om Shri Kalaratri Namaha. Eighth, Mahagauri, the Adi Kundalini. Om Shri Mahangauri Namaha. Ninth, Siddhi Datri, the bestower of special divine powers. Om Shri Siddhi Datri Namaha. Durga is known by these nine names, as told by the great soul Brahmadeva himself. Those who are engulfed by fire, or surrounded by enemies on the battlefield, or being at an impassable place, or frightened, if they surrender to Durga, they would never suffer any misery or misfortune, even at time of war. They would face no calamity, grief, sorrow, or fear. Those who remember you with great devotion indeed have prosperity. Undoubtedly, O Supreme Goddess, you protect those who remember you. The Goddess Chamunda sits on the corpse. Warahi rides on a buffalo. Aindri is mounted on an elephant and Vaishnavi on a condor. Maheshwari is riding on a bull. The vehicle of Kaumari is a peacock. Lakshmi, the beloved of Sri Vishnu, is seated on a lotus and is also holding a lotus in her hand. The goddess Ishwari of white complexion is riding on a bull. Brahmi, who is bedecked with all ornaments, is seated on a swan. All the mother goddesses are endowed with yoga and are adorned with different ornaments and jewels. All the goddesses are seen mounted in chariots and are full of anger. They are wielding conch, discus, mace, plough, club, javelin, axe, noose, barbed dart, halter, whip, trident, spear, bow, and arrows. These goddesses are wielding their weapons constantly to destroy the bodies of demons, for the protection of devotees, and for the benevolence of the gods. Salutations to you, O goddess of very dreadful appearance, of frightening valor, of tremendous strength and energy, the destroyer of the worst of fears. O Devi, it is difficult to have even a glance at you. You increase the fears of your enemies. Please protect us. May goddess Aindri protect us from the east. Agni Devata, goddess of fire from the southeast. Warahi, the Shakti of Vishnu in the form of the boar from the south. Ghadghadharini, the wielder of the sword from the southwest. Varuni, the Shakti of Varuna, the rain god from the west. Murugawahini, whose vehicle is the deer, protect us from the northwest. May Goddess Kaumari, the eternal virgin, the Shakti of Kartikeya, protect us from the north. And Goddess Shuladharani from the northeast. Brahmani, the Shakti of Brahma from above. And Vaishnavi, the Shakti of Vishnu from below, protect us. O Goddess Chamunda, who sits on a corpse, please protect us from all the ten directions. May Goddess Jaya protect us from the front, and Vijaya from the rear, Ajita 
from the left and Aparajita from the right. May Goddess Udyotini protect the top knot and may Uma cover our head and protect it. May we be protected by Maladhari on the forehead, Yashasvini on the eyebrows, Trinetra on the hansa, Yamaganta on the inner part of the nose, Shankini on both the eyes, Dwarawasini on the ears, Mekalika protect our cheeks, and Shankari the roots of the ears. May we be protected by Sugandha on the nose, Charchika, the upper lip, Amrutakala, the lower lip, Sarasvati, the tongue, Kaumari, the teeth, Chandika, the throat, Chitraganta, the sound box, Mahamaya, the crown of the head, Kamakshi, the chin, Sarvamangala, speech, Bhadrakali, the neck, Dhanurdhari, the spine. May Nilagriva protect the outer part of our throat, and Nalakubari, the windpipe. May Khadgini protect our shoulders, and Vajradharini protect our arms. May Devi Dandini protect both our hands, Ambika, the fingers, Shuleshwari, our nails, and may Kuleshwari protect our belly. May we be protected by Mahadevi, the breast, Shoka Vinashini, the mind, Lalita Devi, the heart, Shuladharini, the stomach, Kamini, the Nabhi, Guheshwari, the hidden parts, Putanakamika, the reproductive organs, Mahisha Vahini, the rectum. May Goddess Bhagavati protect our waist, Vindhyavasini, the knees. The wish fulfilling Mahabala protect our thighs. May Narasimhi protect our ankles. May Tejasi protect our feet. Shri Devi protect our toes. May Talawasini protect the soles of our feet. May Donshta Karali protect our nails. Udvakeshini, the hair. Kauberi, the pores. Vagishwari, the skin. May Goris Parvati protect blood, marrow of the bones, fat and bone. Goris Kalaratri, the intestines. Mukuteshwari, bile and liver. May Padmavati protect the chakras. Chudamani, Phlegm or lungs, Jwala Mukhi, luster of the nails, and Abhedya, all the joints, Brahmani, semen, Chhateshwari, the shadow of our body, Dharmadharini, ego, superego, and intellect, the Buddhi, Vajrahasta, Prana, Apana, Vyana, Udana, and Samana, the five vital breaths. Kalyana Shobana, Prana, the life force. Mayogini protect the sense organs, that is, the faculties of tasting, seeing, smelling, hearing, and touching. Minarayani protect Sattva, Raja, and Tamogunas. Varahi, life. Vaishnavi, Dharma. Lakshmi, success and fame. Chakrini, wealth and knowledge. Indrani, relatives. Chandika, cattle or sustenance. Mahalakshmi, children. And Bhairavi, spouse. Supata may protect our journey. And Kshemakari, our way. Mahalakshmi may protect us in the king's courts and all official places. And Vijaya, everywhere. O Goddess Jayanti, any place that has not been mentioned in the Kavach and has thus remained unprotected, may that be protected by you, the destroyer of sins. One should invariably cover oneself with this Kavach wherever one goes, 
and should not walk even a step without it, if one desires auspiciousness. Then one is successful everywhere, in all things. All one's desires are surely fulfilled, and that person enjoys great prosperity on the earth. The person who covers himself with kavach becomes fearless, is never defeated in battle, and becomes worthy of being worshipped in the three worlds. This Devi Kavach is inaccessible even to the gods. One who reads with faith every day, thrice, morning, afternoon and evening, receives the divine arts, the Shaktis, is undefeated in the three worlds, lives for a hundred years and is free from accidental death. All diseases like boils, scars, etc. are destroyed. Movable, scorpions and snakes, and immovable, all other poisons, cannot affect him. All those who cast magical spells by mantras or yantras on others for evil purposes, all negative forces active in water or in the air, all kinds of boots roaming about the earth, all those who mesmerize others, all yakshas and gandharvas, all negative entities, all demons and evil forces are destroyed just by the sight of the person having Kavach in his heart. Whoever reads the Kavach with devotion, his dignity and prosperity increases. That person receives more and more respect and prowess. On the earth he rises in prosperity and fame by reading the Kavach and the Saptashati and by meditating on Sri Chandi. His progeny would thrive as long as the earth is rich with mountains and forests. By the grace of Mahamaya, he would attain the highest state, which is extremely difficult even for the gods, and is eternally blissful in the company of Lord Shiva. Om. Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devya Namo Namaha So let's take a few minutes to open up and uh, share what we felt. While everything is fresh, we haven't done this before. It was a bit long, but it's important to know that it's the original as it was written thousands of years back. And it's interesting to give us some perspective. So let's open up and hear what, what do you feel even now when you keep your hands open attention inside. Let's share sincerely if you were able to be in a state of meditation and have you felt some energy, some some transformation or nothing at all, how, how it was. You can share on the chat, of course, but that would be really nice to hear some <laughs> voices tonight. I really enjoyed it. It was, um, I felt so much fullness on my Sahasrara and I felt lighter in my center heart. I felt like I was able to sit up with um, open chest easy, easily than before. Um, and yeah, I, I love how each and every body part is mentioned. <laughs> You really feel like it's a shield around you when this is being recited. So yes. it's so amazing this power of protection that we can invoke within us and that can surround us. It's just amazing. I take so much comfort in this coverage. So thank you so much for sharing. Thank you. I wanted to say later on when somebody gets used to mantras in Sajo Gachi, when you listen to this Kavach, absolutely have the attention on that part. For me, it was interesting because when he mentioned the lips 
all of a sudden I felt such coolness, like a breeze touching my lips. So it's so, uh, of course, inside and everything, but even in, in areas, you know, we don't even, nothing, just pay the attention there. Um, but I'm just curious for those that listen for the first time um, ever, if, uh, Oh, very nice, Achim. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> very, very nice, Achim wrote us. Uh, yeah, very glad that you felt that. And if you are joining us tomorrow, we have other surprises. I will listen to a few more. And uh, even Devi Mahatmyam being recited by Tim Bruce. He's, he's just, uh, he's really wonderful, yeah. And we have also uh, not only uh, this amazing actor from UK, but and friend, he visited us here in Burlington, Oakville area, uh, but um, others as well we can share. Anyone else? We can take more minutes to share and then we can conclude with a meditation. So we'll keep it short and sweet tonight. Anyone else? doesn't need to be fantastic, so whatever, anyone else. Hey, good evening. Good evening, Taruna. Yes. Uh, uh, three day week of which we enjoy uh, uh, the a bit candle treatment. It's a uh, very powerful. Exactly the uh, all parts also is a uh, um, uh, we made it, we clearing the every parts, but uh, it it was so touching and uh, I. Uh, the meditation is very good. So we enjoy the whole day we covered and uh, we clear our chak uh, chakras also and before we do food sock and then later candle treatment and uh, yeah, it's good, very good. Thank you. Today is the fourth day of Navratri yes. and uh, we are praying uh, Sri Mataji in the form of Sri Mahalakshmi also. And uh, Sri Mataji herself is uh, Mahalakshmi, Mahasaraswati, Mahakari. And uh, 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 we can get the opportunity to hurt the uh, Devi Kavad. It's uh, very powerful. Thank you. I'm very glad that you felt that way, yes. Today and uh, tonight it's a class, so we, we will not go so much in deep. <laughs> But um, at least uh, we wanted to offer everyone this experience of uh, listening to, to something that represents the, the truth as well in an ancient form that is accessible to us. So um, let's have a... Um, Of course, we'll listen to him again. This is Tim Bruce that I was talking about. Absolutely. And we have a surprise um, um, for you. So we will share you. Yeah, you will see. But for now, let's um, just invite Kundani to rise a few times with the right hand up. And we shared on the on the chat, the mantra for Sri Durga Mata, Mother Durga, who is the protector, the destroyer of negativity, and she resides in the center heart chakra, as well as Sri Jagadamba Mata, the mother of the universe, again, protective aspect that resides in the, in the center heart chakra. So for those of you that already know the mantras, you can, you can join. 
let's prepare a little bit. So it'll be a short, short meditation. And by the end of it, we can just remain in silence and uh, mental silence and we'll listen to one devotional song dedicated to Sri Durga Mata by yogis, Sahaja yogis that uh, happen to be also um, si singers, artists, um, actually they are teaching music. So let's take the right hand, we'll wrap it around the forehead and we can say with eyes closed, the tension inside. Mother Kundalini. Please remove. Any thoughts. Please remove any anger, any mental reactions, make them disappear. Please clear my brain of these clouds, the thoughts, take them away. I forgive them all. In fact, I forgive everyone, including myself. Please cool down my brain. We can remove the right hand and now we'll place left hand on the left temple, right hand on the right temple. Gently press. And here we can all say several times the simple mantra is shared on the chat as well, Ham Ksham, just to prepare ourselves for the mental silence. We'll press a little bit and let's sing together. Ham Ksham. Om Ksham Om Ksham We can unmute and join Om Ksham Om Three more times. We can even place now the hands further away from our head. Let's see if we can feel a bit lightness. What do we feel? And let's sing three more times this mantra, which means Ham means I am. That means the pure spirit. Ksham means I forgive. I let go of the ego. Ham. Um, Ksham. Um, Ham Sham Ham Sham Ham 
Let's see if we can remain in thoughtless awareness. We can place our hands in the lap, facing upwards. What do we feel in our hands? This time we'll place the right hand at the back of our head, at the same level with the eyes. This is called the back Agya Chakra. It's an aspect of the sixth chakra, Agya Chakra. And this time, the forehead will be towards the ceiling. It's like resting our head into the right palm. The right palm will, will encompass the entire backside of our head, eyes closed, chest forward. And here we can say, divine power of love, please forgive me for whatever I have done wrong, knowingly or unknowingly. Please forgive me. You are the mother of the universe. I am your child. Please forgive me. Protect me and forgive me. We can come back. Sit straight. Both hands relaxed in our lap. And this time we'll place either the palm on the center of the chest or if we can reach with the fingers from the right palm exactly in the middle of the chest where the rib cages unite, the sternum bone is there. And this center heart chakra is placed just behind it. So you can press a little bit firmly on the bone. And those of us that know the mantra, will say the mantra for Shri Jagadamba Mata. It's placed also on the chat. I hope there is no misspelling. So we'll sing it twice. Om Dwame Vasakshat Shri Jagadamba Mata Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mata Ji Shri Nirmala Devye Namon Namaha One more time without thinking of anything. Om Dwame Vasakshat Shri Jagadamba Mata Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mata Ji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha With this mantra, we saluted this goddess, this divine principle, this energy. And we invoked the primordial power, Shri Adi Shakti. They're all one. We can balance left and right together. Relax both hands. Let's place our attention on the crown chakra, on Sahasrara chakra, and see if we can remain in meditation 
in thoughtless awareness. Any thought that bothers us, we can just say, I'm not this. I am the pure spirit. Jaya Maha Kundalini Tu Ambe Jaya Maha Kundalini Tu Ambe Jaya Ganesh Ji Ki Maambe Jaya Ganesh Ji Ki Maambe Jaya Vishnu Ki Lakshmi Tu Ambe Jaya Vishnu Ki Lakshmi Tu Ambe Jaya Ganesh Ji Ki Jaya Ganesh Ji Ki Maambe Jaya Brahma Ki Saraswati Tu Ambe Jaya Brahma Ki Saraswati Tu Ambe Jaya Ganesh Ji Ki Maambe Jaya Ganesh Ji Ki Maambe Jaya Shiva Ji Ki Parvati Tu Jaya Shiva Ji Ki Parvati Tu Ambe Jaya Ganesh Ji Ki Maambe Jaya Ganesh Ji Ki Maambe Jaya Ram Ki Sita Tu Ambe Jaya Ram Ki Sita Tu Ambe Jaya Ganesh Ji Ki Maambe Jaya Ganesh Ji Ki Maambe Jaya Krishna Ki Radha Tu Ambe Jaya Krishna Ki Radha Tu Ambe Jaya Ganesh Ji Ki Maambe Jaya Ganesh Ji Ki Maambe Jaya Yeshu Ki Meri Tu Ambe Jaya Yeshu Ki Meri Tu Ambe Jaya Ganesh Ji Ki Maambe Jaya Ganesh Ji Ki Maambe Jaya Sahasrara Swami Ni Tu Ambe Jaya Sahasrara Swami Ni Tu Ambe Jaya Ganesh Ji Ki Maambe Jaya Ganesh Ji Ki Maambe Jaya Nirmala Mata Tu Ambe Jaya Nirmala Mata Tu Ambe Jaya Ganesh Ji Ki Maambe Jaya Ganesh Ji Ki Maambe Jaya Adi Shakti Tu Jagadambe Jaya Adi Shakti Tu Jagadambe Jaya Ganesh Ji Ki Maambe Jaya Ganesh Ji Ki Maambe Jaya Adi Maya Tu Jagadambe Jaya Adi Maya Tu Jagadambe Jaya Ganesh Ji Ki Maambe Jaya Ganesh Ji Ki Maambe Jaya Maha Maya Tu Jagadambe Jaya Maha Maya Tu Jagadambe Jaya Ganesh Ji Ki Maambe Jaya Ganesh Ji Ki Maambe Jaya Sarva Swarupini Tu Ambe Jaya Sarva Swarupini Tu Ambe Jaya Ganesh Ji Ki Maambe Jaya Ganesh Ji Ki Maambe Jaya Triguna Swamini Tu Ambe Jaya Triguna Swamini Tu Ambe Jaya Ganesh Ji Ki Maambe Jaya Ganesh Ji Ki Maambe Jaya Jagadambe Jaya Jagadambe Jaya Ganesh Ji Ki Maambe Jaya Ganesh Ji Ki Maambe Jaya Nirmala Mata Jagadambe Jaya Nirmala Mata Jagadambe Jaya Ganesh Ji Ki Maambe Jaya Ganesh Ji Ki Maambe Jaya Jagadambe Jaya Jagadambe Jaya Ganesh Ji Ki Maambe Jaya Jagadambe Jaya Jagadambe Jaya Ganesh Ji Ki Maambe Jaya Ganesh Ji Ki Maambe
ಅಂಬೆ ಜಯ ಗಣೇಶ ಜೀ that's it for tonight thank you for joining we can take few more minutes if you want to share what you felt or if you have any question but hopefully hopefully your center heart opened up more that's what we hope Thank you so much Ivana for today's uh, meditation. I was actually feeling left swadhisthana and now it seems to be much better. I I I joined late but I'm glad I still joined cuz I felt like um I feel much lighter. Um yes center heart is open and also my left swadhisthana I feel much better. So thank you so much. That's good. Thank you. tomorrow hopefully it will be more collective today uh, some of us some from our team could not make it um and we really relied on on vibrations from everywhere <laughs> anyone else that would like to share any question or anything Okay then we'll remain in silence. Thank you so much everyone. Namaste to everyone and um let's meet tomorrow at uh, 8:30 we have um another different session around Navaratri. Thank you. Bye. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Good night.